What's going on YouTube? My name is Albert and today I'm going to be doing a review on the Link cosplay from Mick Costumes and I just want to make this video just in case anybody out there wants to buy this costume and doesn't know what to expect. So I'll be showing you every single thing that it comes with. But before I start off, I just want to say that if you like this shirt that I'm wearing, it's actually from a brand called California. I'll leave a link to the website down below and you can also use my discount code to get 20% off. I'll also leave that down below in the description. Alright, so these are the pants that it comes with. It's just white pants. There's really nothing special or anything to talk about. And I really like it because it's very durable. But what I don't like about it is it doesn't have pockets. So, you know, when I'm trying to reach out for my phone, I'm so used to just reaching out to my pocket. But since these don't have pockets, I can't put my phone in them. So, that, it's not really too much of a problem, but it's just something to know. Alright, next we got the white shirt. It's a little bit wrinkly, but it's okay because you're going to be wearing something over it anyway, so nobody's going to see it. And in the back, there's actually a zipper just to make it easier to put on. Alright, next we got this shirt, and man, I really, really hate putting this shirt on because the fabric does not stretch, and it's just it's just really, really hard to put on, and I really hate putting it on, but I have to, so yeah. This shirt, front, back, they look the same, I don't know why I'm showing you, but yeah. Next we got the green tunic, front, back, it says Mick Costumes right here, and this this uh, this shirt is also really hard to put on because the fabric does not stretch and it's just such a struggle to put it on. Next, we have the gloves. These are uh, brown leather gloves and it has the blue fabric. I don't know the purpose of the blue fabric, but that's just how he looks like in the game. So yes, blue fabric. And here we have the brown leather boots and these are actually from my Attack on Titan cosplay that I did a while back and uh, they're just brown boots and Link wears brown boots so I decided to just use these instead of buying a new pair of brown boots when it's gonna look almost exactly the same anyway but yes brown boots from Attack on Titan and if you guys seen my Anime North vlog you probably know that I lost the hat that this cosplay came with and I was really upset. But I did manage to find another one from Etsy and I went with the darkest color that I could find because most of the ones that I found on that website, it had like a really really bright shade of green and it just didn't match my costume. And I had the shirt right here, I don't know if you can notice the difference on camera but this is just a little bit lighter and the wig I actually safety pinned it to the wig because I didn't want to lose it again but I bought this wig from Lu Kai I'll also leave a link down below in the description to that website next is the pouches and these are actually what I use to put my phone in because the pants don't come with pockets so anything I need to put in my pocket my phone wallet whatever I keep in these Oh, there's actually, I think there's actually money in here from the last time that I used it. Oh yeah, there is. Money! 75 cents, guys. Next, we got the belt or harnesses, whatever you want to call them. And there's actually these two pieces that I don't know the purpose of. Like, I was literally able to put everything on together and look good and these were not needed, like I don't know what these are for, but I decided to keep them anyway just in case I later find out what the purpose of them are. And then we have this piece that goes on his wrist, just like this. Alright, so now I'm going to put this costume on for you guys to see. Alright, so first you're going to want to put on the white shirt and the white pants and when you're done with that you're gonna want to put this shirt on and I really hate putting this on oh my gosh this 
the sword. <sighs> All right, that was really hard. All right, so next, um, you're gonna wanna put on the tunic, the green tunic. And this is also really difficult to put on because the fabric does not stretch. So let me just put this on right now. So we're almost done. Okay, now this is where it gets a little bit complicated. As you can see, you'll have these two pieces. One is longer and one is shorter. All right, now, as you can see, this piece, the bigger, the longer piece, has these holes on them, and the smaller piece has the buttons that connect to them. So, you, so you're gonna wanna attach one of the buttons to the hole, and it doesn't matter which side of the piece it is, because it's the same thing and you can attach the other one to the other hole. Alright, so after that you should have something like this right here. And this fat piece right here, it should go on your shoulder depending on whether you're right-handed or left-handed. So since I'm right-handed, this piece is gonna go on my right shoulder just like this. And uh Take your left hand, or whichever way you're putting this on, and reach out for the other hand, and uh, just buckle this up as you would regularly do for a belt. So just like this, and just like that, you're done. So um, if you're having trouble with this, um, I'm, I'm just gonna do a 360. Of what it should look like from the back and if you're still having trouble just go on the internet and search up pictures of Link because honestly that's what I did and that's how I learned to put this on alright so next up we got the belt and the pouches alright so what you're gonna want to do is uh, there should be these slots where you could just uh, put the belt through so just Put it through there, put one, and put the other one. Just like that. Okay, so now you should have something like this, and just put it on the way you would normally put on a belt. So, I'm gonna put this around my waist, just like this, and just buckle up the belt. All right, now, you should have something like this. Up next, you got the brown leather gloves with the blue fabric, so you just put those on like you would normally put on any kind of gloves. Alright, now we got this part right here, and this should go on the hand where you're holding the sword, and since I'm right-handed, I'm gonna put it on my right wrist and just button up the buttons here just like that all right so up next we got the boots and just put the boots on like you normally would um, I guess you could just use any kind of brown leather boots for this because I'm just using my attack on tight and last but not least, the wig and the hat. And I safety pinned the hat to the wig just so it doesn't fall off. So that way I can just put it on as, a, as one piece. And now just make sure when you put this on that your face and your ears can be seen. And then that's it, you're done. This is what it should look like. Alright, so here's the front. 
left side, back, right side, and the front again. Okay, so right here I got my foam sword. Um, I, I just bought this from one of the Comic Cons that I went to. Uh, I got it for about 25 bucks. I think, I think that's how much it was. Uh, still got this thing from Prop Check that I still haven't taken out. And right here I got the shield, and this is actually just a shield from, from Party City. It's a costume store. So, um, yeah, that's basically it. And, uh, I was actually just good. Uh, I was actually thinking of making the shield, but I just found this at the store, and I was just like, you know what, I'll just take this and, you know, it, it works out. It still works out. Alright, here it is, guys. From top to bottom. Right there. Alright guys, I just want to say thank you guys for watching. Still have the costume on. And uh, please let me know down in the comments below if this was helpful. I really hope it was. Um, if you guys are planning on purchasing this costume, I'd say it's definitely worth it. Uh, it's the most accurate costume that I've seen. Uh, I don't know if there's any other Link cosplays out there that is, are as accurate as this. But, uh, you know, let me know down in the comments below what you thought of this video. And uh, once again, thank you for watching. Subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. And uh, that's it. Till next time, guys. I'm out. Peace.